see me? Good morning. Well, is it morning still? It might be still morning, but maybe like late morning, like almost noon. Hello. Clover and I went to the car dealership today to get one of my keys batteries replaced because um, I'm not able to like open the car from like a distance and it just died like this morning. It's been like, my car's really old, so um, the batteries have never been replaced in the keys. So. I was just doing that and I was looking at my YouTube comment section and somebody was like, oh, congratulations on that article in Vox. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so um, I saw that I got a nice mention in um, Vox uh, by Athena Frost and I thought that was really nice. I was very surprised, um, but I that's nice. Today is not a super busy day. We have rehearsal again this evening. Um, I don't have to show up as early today. I have to show up at like 6.30, but then um, I think I have to stay till like 9 again. So that's not super fun because I, I, I go to bed early, but you know, it's fine. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought I'd update you. Oh, let's look at the tree. Let's look at the tree. Here we go. Here's the tree again. Look, another beautiful day. Um, all the all the leaves have started to change by now almost all of them and uh, a lot of them again are on the ground where they'll stay until the end of winter what are you doing what are you doing over here can you not can you not do you want some water are you thirsty okay maybe not where's your ball oh it's right there okay do you want some water first okay Never once water first, always ball first. There's a McDonald's nearby and I can smell it. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now, but I have leftover chili, so I'm definitely gonna eat that for lunch um, instead of doing the McDonald's thing, because that's bad. But um, I will check in with you later. I think we're gonna like maybe just tidy up the kitchen today and we'll do a little, we'll do a little organized kitchen tour. How about that? All right, talk at you later. up in the kitchen and I thought I would give you a quick and dirty kitchen tour to maybe give you some organizing inspiration and we've only lived here since uh, like like October 1st pretty much we moved at the end of September basically um, like the last day of September so I haven't had enough time to really perfect this system and usually when I have clients think about organizing their kitchens I'm like just live with it for a little bit Think about your habits in the kitchen and then like go to do the fine details but organize it as best you can set it up as best you can do you think the way that you'll use it and then you can go in and like fine tune so um quick and dirty kitchen tour i'm going to open all the drawers and cabinets so you guys can see what's in here because i know you guys are nosy and like these videos <laughs> here we go okay here is our beautiful kitchen it's sundown so it might be a little bit dark but this kitchen is basically what sold this 
home to me. Like it's gorge. Thinking about changing the handles uh, to either brass or black since I've already experienced the wonder of brushed nickel, but you know, that's something for another time. But uh, let's start with this drawer and this side. Okay, so I basically have zones set up the way that my kitchen works. Okay, here's obviously the oven and stove. And here's where I do most of my food prep and there's the fridge and there is the washing cleanup zone. There's a trash can over there. It doesn't get used very much because we do have a lot of, we do have compost. So a lot of stuff just ends up going into compost, which is actually behind there. But we'll start here. This is where my uh, utensils that aren't in the utensil well go. So the rest of my utensils, these are the less often used things like uh, skewers for uh, kebabs and stuff the zester, the whisk, the whale. <laughs> the, wh the whale is for um, emptying like pans full of, you know, you, maybe you cooked some rice and there's still some water left in the pan. You can empty the water out of the pan with the whale. Just hold it up to the pan and pour it. In. I don't know, it's very awkward. I can't do it with one hand, but that's what the whale is for. It's adorable, I got it off Amazon. Anyway, some spatulas and stuff and salad stuff and tongs. Tongs get used a lot around here, especially the little bitty bitty tongs. Jars, anyone? Pickles? Yeah, these tongs are good. Okay, so next is the under cabinet. This is where pans and some saucepans go, or saucepans if you're English, um, and the steamer. So we have two, uh, I think these are two quart saucepans. We don't have, no, these are one quart saucepans. We actually don't have our two quart saucepan right now, which I'm in the market for because uh, the two quart saucepan, spa, saucepan, saucepan, <laughs> saucepan I had um, actually started leaking, so I have to buy another one. The reason I say saucepan is because I did the, okay, I'll turn the camera around real quick to tell you a quick story. So back when I was in graduate school, my friend Vartan wrote me a, a group of songs, and they were based off of poetry by A.A. A. Milne, like the Winnie the Pooh poet, right? And one of the songs was called Market Square, and I sang the entire um, song cycle with a British accent because it was cute and because A.A. Milne was a British person. So, And I, <laughs> there's, there's a part in the song where it's like, um, uh, and I went to the stall where they sold fine saucepans, not saucepans, saucepans, because that's the way you say it. You know what? This story's dumb. But anyway, that's why sometimes I say saucepans. And it's just stuck. And it's weird. You don't care. Anyway, I would have installed this anyway, but when we came to look at the house, they were already installed because one of my colleagues, oh boy, because one of my colleagues professionally organized this house, so she had these installed, which I was so grateful for. I didn't have to do this myself because I would have done it. But this is how we hold our pans. And we have some... Like, this is a splatter screen. You know, these things are kind of awkwardly sized. Pizza things back there. But those fit back there really nicely with a cabinet shelf. And I've found many, many uses for that cabinet shelf over like 10 or 12 years. It's the best thing ever from the container store. So, um, you know, it's great for renters too. If you're needing some extra storage space, don't want to install anything, just install a cabinet shelf. It's, you know, it's a freestanding kind of a dealio. But um, that's that cabinet. And then of course we got a little salt and pepper and my timer here. <laughs> and up here we have the oils and vinegars. We cook a lot and we always need red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar. Um, is that what this is? Yep, and sesame seed oil. By the way, sesame seed oil is so good. You guys love toasted sesame seed oil. It smells so good. And like we go through these so fast. Um, and then we've got the salt and pepper again back there to fill these guys. Um, the dog waters tooth thing. This is the best um, spoon rest. I've ever, ever found. It's from a company called Yamazaki. Yamazaki makes really cool stuff. So if you're, if you're like cooking and stuff, this pasta spoon, you can put your spoon there, right? And it holds it and it's cool or you can put it like that, right? So, but you can also, say you got your hot lid, right? It's really hot. You don't want to put it directly on the counter because you know, you don't want to burn your counter, but you just, like, you do that. What? What? So that's where that lives. We do have trivets and we do have oven mitts, um, but they're just on the side there. And then at the top, you guys saw in an earlier um, Vlogtober video, we've got extra spices 
and things and spice mixes that we've made ourselves. Um, those are the spices. Those are the extra ones and the ones that, that don't get used very much. Oh, this is a, this is loose. This is loose. This cabinet is okay, but it's got one of these sort of lid organizers slash pot or I don't know what this is, but I'm using it for lids right now. And my, one of my cast iron pans. We do have two cast iron pans. One's for one's a grill pan, and this one's just a regular pan. Um, my husband bought this last year. It's like a nice Le Creuset pan. Um, but also we have a lids here as well, and so those were all of the pot lids live, as well as the Ninja fruit blender smoothie thing that my husband uh, bought and does not use very much. He should use it more, as well as the juicer back there that does not get used very much. But Mr. Organized Soprano uh, would every now and again likes to partake in the, hello, hello. You came from downstairs because you heard me talking. I wasn't talking about you. Above that cabinet is the most used spices cabinet and well, cabinet, no, it's a drawer, spice drawer. Uh, this spice organizer, this like plasticky thing I've had for such a long time and I really really enjoy it I would like to upgrade it to like some nice wooden one but we haven't gotten there yet but anyway these are the most commonly used spices and I did decorate each one of these jars with my Cricut so if you're ever wondering why you would buy a Cricut um, customized labels is <laughs> why you might want to buy a Cricut because it's very fun and a lot of people ask me where I got these jars from they are from Michael's um, they were pretty cheap, so, I mean, sadly, you do have to, like, clean them all when you bring them home, but, you know, they're still cute. Above this, we do have the plates and bowls, you know, nothing special. These plates and bowls are, we got from year and day, and they've been great. They, we got, like, a set of, like, I think eight, uh, eight each, and they're really nice. Made in Portugal, very good quality. Um, they're worth the investment. Uh, oh, that, that, not that, not there. They're worth the investment, you know, for like an adult purchase, and we really enjoy them. And I don't know, they're nice. Oh, and this cabinet shelf fits right in here, and it is from a brand called Open Spaces, and it's very, very, very nice. They did send this to me, as well as some other organizing products, and it's fantastic. Here we have the utensils and um this drawer is weird because again we just moved and there is empty space i mean this is the reality folks like there's empty space and there's like a random drawer organizer in there with nothing in it so it's just as it is right now but you know as long as we can find the forks and spoons we're good so maybe one day i may put an extra drawer organizer in here or i may just leave this empty for the rest of its life who knows? Under here, we have another pullout, which is amazing. And this has all of our pots and our uh, slow cooker. And up here, we've got, this was my monitor shelf before, and I repurposed it for the kitchen and it fits perfectly in here to hold the rice cooker and a couple of baking items. One's a pie plate and a couple other little casserole dishes that I use sometimes, and this one, is in the refrigerator right now with cornbread in it. Yay! Here is the wonderful sink and sink cabinet. Now I must say that all of the sinks have these little hidden drawer compartments here and I've just, I just stuck the sponge in here. Ooh, it needs to be clean maybe. Um, but that's a fun place for the sponge and under here is just the under sink, you know, regular stuff. They did install this pull out here, which is so fantastic. Again, I don't have to do it, which is awesome. And it just has cleaning stuff in it. Very, very generic. Um, it had dish, pot, dish pods and everything, command hooks on the doors. And um, it's funny because one of my, one, again, one of my professional organizing colleagues around here did this space. And I'm suspecting that she did this proof that we are all the same. <laughs> <laughs> we are all the same, so we do all of the same things, and this was here too. So I just thought that was really funny. I'm like, oh, that girl, I know her. She's, we're all the same. Anyway, we just have the trash bags and stuff here, and the fat trapper, and all that stuff. So that is that cabinet. Oh, you're a porch, porch dog. 
You're looking very sad out here. On the side we just have like the dish drying rack and the dishwasher and this is actually the like the recycling. I mean you guys don't need to see that right? It's the, it's the recycling but this is actually coffee stuff, coffee pods and I did buy this pod organizer to go in the store. Very cool. But I think that eventually we're going to switch over to all reusable pods because getting, okay, I'm going to tell you something, getting the coffee and the liner and separating the aluminum and the plastic from all these, like you put the coffee from these in the compost and then like recycle the, it's just a pain in my butt, okay? So I think, <laughs> I think I'm going to graduate from these like one time use ones to the all reusable ones. It's just easier to like take this contents of this put it in the compost and then just put this in the dishwasher so that's what we're gonna do from now on so I'll just probably have one full of like reusable pods instead and maybe occasionally we'll have some special ones but um, it's just a pain anyway you y'all don't need to know that um, we got the, the, the milk frothers and also if, in case you don't know this one's from Ikea these are ooh, new batteries on that these are good to aerate your wine just saying. Okay, okay, also, also they're good for emulsifying salad dressing. There's a hack for you, okay? There's a hack. We also have another one that has a, a two, uh, another attachment, like a whisk attachment, so we're having fun with those. In this cabinet, we just have glasses, you know, nothing special, and a little bit of loose coffee, and my travel mug, and some travel mugs up there, and as well as the little water jug thing so this is all about drinking staying hydrated this is your hydration cabinet we've got the island the island does have the microwave the drawer microwave is very bizarre it's taken me a long time to get used to it but i really i like it i like it it's like the, you don't see a microwave you just kind of pass by it's, it's inconspicuous it's very cool underneath the microwave is where the food storage containers live and they're they're pretty organized um these are my favorite if you have not use these these are um, food huggers and if you have like a cut lemon you just stick the half a lemon in here and it keeps it fresh it's they're the best they're made of silicone so good um anyway we just got food storage organization containers in here we love it love to see it in this drawer we just have um prep tools mostly knives um we've had these uh, knife block what are these cork knife things I'm not speaking very well today for a long long time and you can tell they are showing their age but they still work and they hold all of our chef's knives and like herb scissors and stuff and all that business so they're great we have like cheese knives and all that we've got things to cut herbs cheese cutters my husband like is he will never let this go we got everything to slice and dice that you ever needed in your life in this drawer and in this drawer we just have more prep items this is the drawer that gets open the most i feel like when i'm cooking because it has all of my like colanders this is a like measuring colander that is so fun because if you need a pint of tomatoes they actually have pint on the side um so it's pretty handy and i've got i mean i've got a mil uh, like a bunch of measuring cups but i mean believe me it all gets used because your girl loves to like mess around in the kitchen and down here we just have mixing bowls and salad spinners and a grater a box grater proper box grater and like a masher for things hello you're back you're in here now hello oh my gosh stop being so cute and then in this drawer we have a few more prep items nothing really serious just like food temperature measuring things and it's Great, so it's right here. So if you're cooking, you need to know how hot something is. You get your temperature, temperature thing. Wow, you got your thermometer right here. Um, this one's fun if you've never used this one. It's a laser thermometer. My husband got that for me for my birthday one year. Very fun. Um, uh, my husband's egg cooking thing. He loves that. I, okay, whatever. Um, and then like our citrus squeezers. I know we don't need like one for each individual citrus fruit, but they're fun let a girl live and in this drawer we've got cutting boards very exciting and under here we have our food processors we have a little tiny baby one and like a regular one and then we've got the mixer KitchenAid mixer back there 
Um, that gets used only a few times a year, mostly around Christmas because I don't eat a lot of sweets, but I do make marshmallows and we need that thing to make marshmallows and cookies and it's fun at Christmas. And then um, to the left of it, we just have the baking pans and um, oh, a cutting board that's too big to fit in there. It's got a little like um, colander attached to it. Very fun. Um, I use the baking pans like a lot. I, I'm gonna need maybe a little better storage system because look how they're a little bit so we'll we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but for now it it works pretty it works pretty well and then really there's really not much left we just have this honeycomb wine shelving which we did inherit from the previous owners it usually has bottles of wine in it but we have um partaken in a lot of the wine and now it's just plants <laughs> But um, we also have a, a, a bar set up here with our glasses and stuff and some coffee stuff up there and uh, fruits and the recipes for our home chef are here. So as we make them, we'll put them in the home chef binder that is over in our pantry. But we just have some treats over here. My husband has cereal here. <laughs> he loves cereal. And this is a bespoke piece that was made for this corner and was just left here by the previous owners because it's just made for this space they left it here including the wine fridge so we inherited a wine fridge i'm not sure what to do with it it just has some little bits and bobs in it like it's got some jars usually i use these jars for pickling um and like if i make sauces or something i'll you know use the jars so we've got some some k-cups over here seasonal k-cups i don't really know what to do the toaster fits right in there which Wow. Um, but the, oh, this has tea in it. This has tea in it. It's kind of a mess. But I have to tell you, I have to tell you, I waited a long time to get this tea. If you've been watching my channel for a while, especially if you've been watching Vlogmas, 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 wow, Vlogtober for a while, you know that I, it took me a long time to get this tea. But I tried this tea for the first time yesterday. And let me tell you, it was worth the wait. <laughs> it's so good it's like earl gray with a little bit of coconut and it's oh oh my goodness it is the most delicious tea it's so good it was totally worth waiting and getting aggravated i mean okay i mean i didn't want to get aggravated and wait but it was worth the wait um it was worth not canceling my order for this tea i will order again during another full moon because oh girl this was a good it's good anyway that's the kitchen. The pantry is uh, another ball game. I mean, okay, Keurig, we have Keurig here. Very fun, we love her. Um, the, the pantry, the slick side pantry business, that's the compost bin, is something I really have to pay some attention to very soon. I haven't really organized this. I just kind of moved everything into it. And the bottom drawer, you don't even wanna see that. Okay, you know what? You can see it, it's here, look, see? What a mess. So we're gonna have to pay some attention to that. And this, you know, this business on the side here, this little pantry, downstairs pantry, we're gonna have to do a little tidying up on it. And it also it looks like it needs some restocking as well. So we'll do that, make it look real cute. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow we can do that. Uh, we also are gonna repaint this hallway. It looks like um, friggin' uh, Space Mountain. You know, like, I, <laughs> look, 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 when I turn, oh no, I can't turn off that light. I it. Doesn't it remind you of Space Mountain? If the light's off, it's it's Space Mountain. Now y'all know when you were in Disneyland or Disney World, and you get on Space Mountain, and you go on the roller coaster, you can't see what's going on, but you know it's it's dark, but you know you're going down somewhere you can't see. This is Space Mountain. Why you would paint a hallway this color is beyond me. <sighs> I mean, I, I I guess they liked it. It's not for me. I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit, maybe put a little cute wallpaper action, but like, girl, this, this is Space Mountain. I had like a real love-hate relationship with Space Mountain, you know, like when I was a kid, I got on Space, like when I was five, right, my parents took me to Disney World, I got on Space Mountain, loved it, thought it was the most fun ever. When I went back to Disney World and I was like 10, was not having it. Big nope, not getting on it, scary, no thanks, no ma'am. Get me away from it. We're going to, it's a small world. So, and then when I was like a teenager, I was like, oh, I'll try Space Mountain again. Loved it, thought it was fun. But then while I was standing in line, I'm thinking, cause it's like above your head, you're waiting in line and you're like, there's a roller coaster above my head. I'm like, 
what if, what if it just went off? What if it just derailed? Then I was like, it's fun, but also nope. I don't think I'm gonna get on Space Mountain ever again, but I just, I wanted to take you guys on that journey with me, my Space Mountain journey. Um, I'm sure it's perfectly safe. <laughs> I've been on it a bunch of times, but like, it is scary because it is a roller coaster inside in the dark. Okay. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? <laughs> you got your taco out? Is it taco time? Taco time? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's almost time for rehearsal again for the second night in a row. Tomorrow we have a break, which is great. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's kitchen tour. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves and the ones around you.